Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day two of my Arsenal transfer series. Uh, my name is Neomis. Now, topic of today, or a little bit of an aftermath from last night's win over Manchester United, which still ecstatic over. Granite Jacker, we need to talk. So, unless you've been under a rock or just haven't been a true Arsenal fan, over the past couple of months, Granite Jack has been linked away from Arsenal Football Club because of everything that's been happening. Him throwing down the shirt, him doing the whole cup thing uh, within the stadium when the fans booed him. And you know what? I, I do understand, you know, there have been some idiots on social media that have not been nice to Granit Xhaka, um, talked about his family, talked about his uh, four-month-year-old daughter, like, it hasn't been good. And this is why I think a lot of Arsenal fans felt that Granite Jacker's time at Arsenal was coming to an end. Now, the one thing, and the one thing that we all thought is that he'd be sold in January for whatever amount to whatever teams that might be interested, and then that'd be the end of that. And I think that has been the kind of general premise over the past couple of months, except for the past two weeks, which is where Hertha Berlin, who recently had like a lot of investment into their club, and now they want Granite Jacker. Now, instead of just paying for Granite Jacker outright, they want to get a loan with a uh, an option to buy. Uh, but there have been different, several talks about them being an obligation to buy Granite Jacker after the loan. Uh, but what has come out after last night is that even though Hertha Berlin have put uh, an offer on the table for Granit Xhaka and he is happy to go to Hertha Berlin, uh, Granit Xhaka, Mikel Arteta really likes him. He really does like him. Um, and that says something. You know, we have had several managers now since Arsene Wenger Arsene Wenger liked him, you know, Emery liked him, Lundberg, not so much, uh, but Mikel Arteta likes him a lot, there were talks last week that even when Arteta was at Man City and they were looking to kind of strengthen their midfield, they looked at uh, Granit Xhaka as being an option, uh, um, but Arsenal got there first, and with Granit Xhaka's situation right now, it seems that Arteta wants him to stay. At least that's from his comments after the game. Really likes him as a player, likes what he can give to the squad and hopes that he doesn't leave. And I'm just paraphrasing at the moment in terms of what was they're given from the interview. But you gotta ask yourself, if the coach wants him to stay, the player wants to leave, something's gotta give. Because this is one of these situations where, to be honest, it's probably best for Granite Jacker to leave Arsenal with everything that's gone on. Uh, and even though things haven't been nowhere near as bad as it was, let's say, six weeks ago with Granite Jacker, like things are a lot better. He doesn't get booed, he's putting in good performances. And I think the majority of fans, if not all of them, are very much happy with what Granite Jacker has been given. For Arsenal, for the badge, for the shirt. But he probably is due for a change of scenery. My personal view on it is if we get the right amount, I would be up for selling Granit Jacker. And the main reason why I say that is because I've always said with this midfield, we need a midfield with pace, power, precision that gives us a little bit of all the key things that you need in a midfield. Granit Xhaka, athletically, for me, is just, he's not that type of player. It's not his fault. He just isn't that type of player. Yes, he can deliver a good pass. And if you give him enough time on the ball, he can provide a difference maker towards any team. Uh, and that's one thing that I'll say. Every now and again, he'll, you know, take a shot from distance. And I, I like that about his game because Arsenal don't have any real 
distance shooters, uh, especially one from midfield. But what else does Granite really give you? He can't hold the ball up. He's not a big tackler, and when he does, he makes stupid tackles, or he'll either get a ridiculous yellow card. Maybe this is the opportunity we need to start to revitalize our midfield. I did a video yesterday talking about Glenn Camera uh, and the fact that these two situations are coming in tandem with one another. Maybe this is one of these situations whereby Granite, or at least the situation with Granite, might be coming to an end. But it did say in the article that it's all down to Mikel Arteta and he gets the final say, which is good. It's good for Arteta at the very least. Uh, me, I'd like to see a, something a little bit more different than Granite. Just someone more athletic. Still could give us the things that Granite can because he, do <clears throat> he does have a, a decent tool in his locker to be able to give Arsenal and to give any team. But I want someone that can give us more than a good pass because this is what this midfield needs. And especially when you're playing players like Ozil in the squad who, for the majority of the time, apart from the last four games, isn't going to track back, isn't going to do all the hard work, doesn't really hold up the ball. You're going to need someone that can do all of those things. But let's see what happens. We're still only day two. We've got another 29 days left in the month of January. And then, yeah, I'm sure it is going to be an interesting one around Granite Jacka. But you would have to say with everything on how things are, Granite just has a conversation with Mikel Arteta. Who understands the situation? He's probably going to be gone. But leave your comments below. And if you would rather see Granite Jacka leave, or if you would rather have him stay, especially based on yesterday's result. And finally, this is a bit of a tidbit in terms of everything that's been happening in terms of news. So, as you might know, Eddie Nketiah is returning today back at Arsenal. Still no news in regards to what that is going to look like for him, if he's going to be playing for Arsenal or if he's get sent out on loan. A couple months ago, there were talks about him being recalled and going to Bristol City. So that is still, could be an option for him. Then there's the likes of Samuel and Titi, who surprisingly was at the Arsenal game yesterday against Manchester United. But unsurprisingly, was at the game against Manchester United. And the reason why I say that is because, yes, he's a big player and it's okay for him to watch a football match. But if you don't know, Samuel and Titi and Alex Lacazette are very good players. And to be honest, it's no wonder he was at the game. Does this mean that he's linked to Arsenal uh, in an Arsenal transfer? Probably not. And it's probably and it's why I didn't really mention it as being kind of a main sticking point for this video. Because I, personally, I don't feel like we are ever going to sign Samuel and Titi. And if we did sign Samuel and Titi, to be really, really honest, I, I really doubt he can handle the physicality of the Premier League, especially with all the injuries that we have. We've got players dropping like flies at the moment. And yes, Samuel and Titi is a very good defender. But to bring in a player like him who he probably could only play about 20 to 30 games a season... And when you think Arsenal are going to be playing close to double that amount, I'm not sure if Samuel and TT is the best value for money, to be completely honest. But guys, thank you once again for watching this video. Again, leave your comments below on what you think about everything around Granite Jacker. So many different facets in regards to Jacker. Yes, he's a quality player, but do we really need him? Should we be looking to kind of revitalize the squad and get things moving into a different direction which is personally where i would like to see things 
So leave your comments below if you feel the same as me or if you feel something different. Really interesting to hear your thoughts. Like and once again, subscribe if you haven't done so already. Well, until next time, I will see you guys most likely tomorrow unless something really big happens later on this evening. Thank you once again and I'll see you soon. Peace.